in the second in the national so
high school. Um, Friday night football action. District 6 5 A play. Virgil Hawks and the District 4 of the Mike Davis here with you tonight. And the Hawks get to Series of Richmond and try to get back into the winning column. Richmond won the past matchup Tuesday, 7 2. They got the win within 9 games. Two hit performance on that one. But we're really looking back on the winning column tonight. Starting on the next one. Bring up Reese Davis, shortstop for the Royals. That win here. Thank you. 
Welcome back. Number two, the shortstop, Bailey Welcome back. Welcome back. Another technical difficulty. So the Senate just comes in now with one down for the
Sorry. Check, check, check. Oh, 
Watching Virgo Hawks softball on both sports on Bipi.
Sydney Taylor up to now.
one two pitch high and swung on and goes down for the second out of the inning that's a little rising fastball there got her chasing to Mackenzie Baker, the first baseman. Baker's batting 143 in the season. Three hits and seven RBIs. Down on the count now, 0 and 2. The 0-2 pitch, rising fastball again, gets her swing, and that's going to do it for the threat in the second. One run, one hit, nobody left on base. We head to the top of the third. Birdville leading this one, one nothing. Leading off for Royals, followed by Hill and Davis. Oh, hitting this one, one nothing. First pitch for a strike. South to right field is batting 304, 14 hits, one double, and five RBIs. Puts it over to Burris, over to first, for the first out of the hey. inning. Nessa Hill let off the first inning, actually the game, with a single and then got caught stealing. Definitely second time. Takes that first pitch low for ball one. Shadows have finally overtaken the field, so the sun shouldn't be a problem. That one other pitch is high for ball two. Take the sun for the first run for Birdville in the second inning. That screws just couldn't see it. And allowed Beecraft to score. Field pitch outside. 
Got the corner for a strike one. Misses outside, three and one. Sorry about the little camera shake here. I gotta take it straight now for everybody. A three one pitch. Swung on to Headington. Dice for but can't come up with it. She's gonna be on again with a leadoff single. Well, single, not leadoff. There's one out here in the inning. So that brings up Reese Davis, the shortstop for the Royals. She popped out to left field in her first at bat in the first inning. Trying to see if she can move Hill over. Get back on the scoreboard, puts the bunt down. Nice bunt down the first baseline. That's gonna be foul. Come back and do it again. <laughs> Down in the count, 0 and 1. Ramsey gets her sign. Bunts that one foul again. Owen two to Davis, one down. Hit trick on deck for the Royals at bat next here. And the O2 pitch swung on again and found back to the right side. So Owen two again. Staying alive is Reese Davis. He's <laughs> swinging away now. And that's a hill on first base. It was a one two pitch. And that's going to be down low. Uh, ball one. What a nice night for softball. 61 degrees. Slight breeze blowing in from the outfield. That pitch is grounded over to Hennington. And he can't come up with it. And everybody's safe. So the Royals are threatening here in the bottom top of the third, down by one. Andrea McKendrick, who popped out to center field in her first time up. And McKendrick, batting 345, 424 slugging. He has 14 singles, five doubles, and one home run. And going for third base and throwing it out there, so we'll be tied up here. Uh, he will come around to score. Uh, over to third base, and in there is Davis. Uh, be throwing there. Richard has not at the game up at one. One down here still in the top of the third. He was looking to attack on a few more runs. Davis at third and that pitch misses down low for ball two. Maddie McKay sits on deck for the Royals. 2-0 pitch. Outside. 
from the Kinder to be taken here. So Ramsey has been able to find the strike zone. Down in the count, three and oh is Ramsey. And that picks down the fight for the strike one. Now it takes just finding that spot right there and then coming back to it a couple of times. 3-1 pitch, swung on to the right side and a foul out of play. Got short foul lines, foul territory here at this park. So that Kittrick in there now, full count to her for the last two strikes. And a 3-2 pitch. Down the pipe, top is going to fall fair into right field. It's past Taylor. Kendrick will take second base easily. Watching a weird hop down there in right field and that's past Taylor. Davis will score. Royals lead this one two to one. here as they lead two to one. And her first pitch, high rising fastball. Maddie versus Maddie here. And his pitch is high, ball two. So they have to set with the 2-0 count. On the final strike zone, that pitch, down low, ball three. He's got two runs here in the top of the third. It took a 2 1 lead, and 3 0 pitch is called a strike. Grabs the fire in the strike zone. Okay, doing a good job working the count here. The 3 1 pitch. Just it to the second base. Grand run over to first for the second out of the inning. Kittrick took third on the grounder to Missoula. comes in. Her first pitch is high and misses the strike zone. Come out. 1-0 pitch. Foul on the back. Could be playable. And Woo! under it and for the third out of the inning is burst. So that's going to do it for the third inning. Royals do pick up two and lead this one by a score of two to one. You're watching Virgil Hawk softball on Life Live.
Brown for the third. Now lead is won by a score of two to one. Moore and then back to the top of the lineup. Pennington and Baca do up for the box here, the bottom of the third. Two pitch. This is high and outside, so get out of there. Hey, so will be followed by Bailey Hamilton. Good set for the one two pitch. We'll run about straight back. Strikeout of the game. It's going to bring out Bailey Eddington. And he struck out looking in her first at bat in the first inning. So Eddington will get on here in the top of the bottom of the third inning for her strikeout looking. First pitch going on, row two left field, Pinto under it, and she makes the catch for the second out of the third inning. Just got under that one, and again, the wind is blowing in from the outfield, so balls will go and get caught up there. Stepped in her center fielder, singled in the first. These pitch rolled on with Chase and fouled back. Baca is batting 288 on the year. 354 on base percentage, 710. Slugging for Savannah's for Baca. Got 10 RBIs, two doubles, and a triple for the Hawks. Oh, one pitch, swung on. Baca down in the count, 0 oh and 2. Hawks trailing this one by one, 2 to 1 here at the bottom of the third. Ready? Over two. And protecting the foot on there. Now it's the screen, so she'll get another shot at that one. And tough pitch there. Looks like it's going out and it catches the core. So Baca is staying alive. She can get on. That's going to bring her clear up for us. Back. 
Second base for his first time. Right? Let's see what our score here. Top of the fourth. That pitch is hit to center field. Bach uh, under it. Gets it out for the first out of the inning. Let's see if we can get that first out and a quick out at that. <laughs> that brings up Joyston Pinto, the left fielder. He got on by a fielder's choice in the second inning. Pitch the 0 for 1 here tonight. That pitch. One swing, did one swing, ends up fouling off from the strike one. Pinto will be followed by Kaylee Lavinci of the second baseman for the fourth. Oh. Strike two. The Ramsey ahead of the count, over oh two. Down here in the top of the fourth, Pinto Valencia and Valencia can get on self. And that ball is flying to Hedinson and she makes the catch. And that'll be another quick out here in the top of the fourth. So Valencia popped out to left field in her first at bat. See if she can stretch out this inning. Fox trying to shut this one down and have a shut down inning here. And these pitches grounded to third off the glove of Burris. Tough play for her, anyways, off the backhand and off the glove. So Lindsay goes on with a single. And bring up Megan Self. She let off the third inning. Grounding out to Heddington. Steps in there at 0 1. Two down for the Hawks here on the top of the fourth. Oh. 
swung through the first pitch. Time is Valencia. Nice try, Sorry, I said count is even to yourself. If she can get on that, it's going to bring up a miss at heel. Slap butt, foul ball. She likes the one-two pitch. Now back. Yeah, Valencia on at first base. She reached on with the hard line drive single to first. Self down on the count, one and two. Two outs here in the fourth. One-two pitch. Pops that one foul to the left side. Foul by a few feet. She has to come back and re back and try to do this one again. Herself. She's going to be out. That's going to do it for the top of the fourth. No runs one here to be at the bottom of the fourth. We'll take this one two to one. You're watching Virgil Hot Papa on Life Live. Check one, two, check. So Hawks to do for the Hawks right now is Corinne Burris, Maddie Ramsey, and Emma Beecraft, the catcher here in the bottom of the fourth. Hawks trailing by one, looking to get back on the board. Got the first one of the game in the second inning. Had a brief lead, and then the Royals took it back in the top of the third. So looking to square things up and take the lead for the Hawks here. First pitch is swung on, strike one. So 
Burris Ramsey Beecraft duo. Burris popped out to center field in the first inning. A one pitch in there for a strike. Nice pitcher by Lees. Lees with four strikeouts here halfway through the ball game. Set with the 0-2. Foul to the left side. Might get out and falls at foul territory. Still life in the bat of Burris here in the fourth inning. Burris, a 306 hitter for the Hawks. Seven singles, four doubles. Does have six RBIs. RBI here. And the 0 2 swung on, went chasing for the outside for the fifth strikeout for Lee. So Maddie Ramsey, her counterpart, steps in now. Trying to see if she can help herself out here in the fifth or fourth. Teammates getting behind her here. First pitch to Ramsey. Good eye on that one. Lays it go high. Let's go high. She's 0 for 1 tonight. Pitching a nice game herself so far. Trying to get a little help here. Fastball swung on, fouled straight back. Tad behind on that pitch. So the count runs even at one. Perhaps it would be followed by Emma B. Kraft, the catcher. And that one one pitch is low. Skips to the catcher, McKendrick, and that's two and one to count now to Ramsey. Patiently waiting here for her pitch. That pitch is caught in the corner and there's straight two, so count even is up at two. So Ramsey. I do really work through the uh, calls here, trying to get the perfect in-line pitch. That one's fouled straight back over our head. So Ramsey still in there. Count is even at two for Ramsey. Jace Lees does take her time up there on the hill. She's set now with the 2-2 pitch. And swung on a miss by Ramsey, and she goes down on strikes. Back to back strikeouts for J.C. Lees here. So Beat Crab comes up now. Two down here in the bottom of the fourth. Beat Crab comes in batting from the left side of the plate. Singled and scored in the second. Trying to get some two out magic going here for the Hawks. The little squatty batting stance. First pitch, swung on, drove to right field. Self going back under it and makes the catch. And that'll be three up, three down for the Hawks here in the bottom of the fourth. We'll head to the top of the fifth. 2 1 our score in favor of the Royals. You're watching Birdville Hawks softball on. Fight live.
back here in the top of the Back here in the top of the fifth inning. 2 1 our score still in favor of the Richland Royals. Hawks had a brief lead in the bottom of the second. So, up top of the lineup for the Royals, Anissa Hill has two singles on the night. Reese Davis followed by Landry McKittrick. Hawks trying to get Hill out for the first time this evening here on kick out cancer night for the Birdville Hawks. Get set, the 0 1 swung on, it's going to be punched to left field foul. Hill batting 340. Impressive on base percentage of 500. Slugs 400 and 900 on base plus slugging. So you can only get her out half the time. The other half she's going to get on base. The 0 2 pitch. Swung foul. So Hill trying to stay alive here at the top of the fifth. This is Reese Davis waits on deck here. Ramsey ahead of the count 0 and 2 looking for her first strikeout here of the game. Gets the sign she likes. Wind up. And that's going to be punched over to left field, but foul, just foul. She's about two or three feet off that foul line from being fair. So the count sits at 0 and 2. Hill showing why she's a tough out here for the Royals. And she's singled and scored in the bottom of the third. Scored on the throwing error by first base. And that one is going to be popped to center field. And that's going to fall down for a base hit. So a little chopper over the bag. And in there for her third single of the game is Hill. It's going to bring up Reese Davis, the shortstop. She's 0 for 2. She did score after reaching on base after the error by Headington in the third inning. Came around and scored the what is the go-ahead run right now. Hill goes for second. The bunt is fouled back. Hill did get thrown out in the first inning. Trying to steal, but looks like that was just to move her over a little. But and run action for the Royals. Racing her now, 0 1. She shows Bunt. Looks like they're going to try to move Hill over. Bunt is down. And out at first is Davis, but moves the runner over. So Hill now in scoring position with one down after the sacrifice bunt by Reese Davis. Landry McKendrick steps in her now. Had a double and popped out in the first base, so she's one for two on the night. Looking to extend the Royals lead here with Hill on second. That first pitch is high, misses the strike zone. Kendrick's another one of those tough outs, batting 345, 424 on base percentage. Five singles, one home run, 12 RBIs. That pitch is down low. Up with it is B craft. Got to be careful with Hill on the base. So McKendrick be followed by Maddie McKay. So 
0-2 pitch. Down low gets past B. Craft, so he will take third base on the wild pitch there. So he'll 60 feet closer now. Trying to stretch out this lead, leading 2-1 right now. Three no count to McKendrick, and that pitch misses. So McKendrick's on with the walk. It runs on first and third now for Maddie McKay. Kay singled in the second and grounded out to second base in the third inning. So Bakery will come on to run for McKendrick, the catcher. McKay steps in. And takes the first pitch, strike one. McKay's batting 448 on the season, has 10 doubles, two triples a home run, and 23 runs knocked in. So she is a threat here, batting cleanup for the Royals. Looking to bring in Hill, who's at third base, got there after the sacrifice bunt, and then advanced to third on a wild pitch. Inside pitch caught for a strike. So Ramsey comes back, fires two strikes to McCain's ahead in the count, two and zero oh and two. One down here, looking to get the strikeout. Pitch runner advance, no contest. That pitch is inside, but picked up by B. Craft. Good job of B-Craft keeping the ball in front of her. Trying to see if she can get McKay to chase there. It's ready for the 1-2 pitch. Down the middle, back up to Ramsey. He's not going to be able to field that one, and he'll score easily. McKay gets her second hit of the game. So Aliyah Cruz steps in the first baseman, has a single popped out to second base. Opportunity here to bring in a run with McKendrick at third base, or excuse me, yeah. Pinch runner here at third base. Don't have her name on the roster. Takes the first pitch strike, throws down to second, we'll get her at second. Runner comes home to throw, and she's gonna be out as well. So a unorthodox double play to end the threat in the fifth. Royals do score one, lead this one by a score of 3-1. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Hawks coming up. Duo steps in there. 
reached on with an error and they got caught stealing in the second inning. All they do is followed by Taylor and then Baker here in the bottom of the third Hawks. Needing a couple of runs here, down 3-1 in the bottom of the fifth inning. Lays off the high one. Well, this is batting 154, eight singles and four doubles. There's going to be two doubles. Fouls that one straight back off the net. Count runs even for her. Azadouza, second pitch is in there for a strike. As she goes down in the count, one and two, as Sydney Taylor waits on deck. Hawks needing a couple of runs here to tie this one up. As we head to the later half of the game. Lee, one, two pitch, lays off of it. He's been doing a good job getting him changed. She has five strikeouts, six strikeouts here. She had two strikeouts the last inning and a pair in the second. Set with the 2-2. Swung early, fouled to the left side. Took a little something off the pitch and just got a little ahead of it. Bother do it. Staying alive here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Trying to get on for Sydney Taylor. See if they can get a little late rally going here. That ball has popped deep. Two Pinto Pinto's backcourt. Can't find it. Drops it. And Balazazua will stand up at second after the error by Pinto. I don't think she was able to see it right off the bat. And by the time she picked it up, it was a little too late. Just hit her on the glove and fell to the ground. So good break here for the Hawks with a lead off E7. That's going to bring up Sydney Taylor. She was a strikeout victim in the second. Chance here with a runner in scoring position. That first pitch down the middle swung on. She took a little something off that one. Sydney couldn't catch up to it. So she goes down in the count 0 and 1. Hawks needing a Get a few runs here to keep up with the pace of the Royals. Royals at two in the third and one in the fifth. And the 0-1 pitch down the pipe for strike two. Lee toes are over. Head 0-2. Good eye with that one on Taylor laying off that 0-2 pitch. Came back with it. She had her swing on that one in there. First pitch. Did a good job laying off of that one. Come set. Wind up. Foul straight back. Just got under that one. A little rising fastball action. Just couldn't catch up. But the count stays one and two. That pitch misses. So even in the count now, two and two. Well, it seems like every Pitch that Lee throws. She likes to look over, get a pitch, then look down at the wristband, make sure it's the right 
situation, right pitch she wants to throw. And she comes set with the 2-2. Two -two. And that one, Good off speed. Taylor's able to catch up to it, fouls it off, stays alive on this count, so good job by Taylor here, battling this count. Working these, making sure she gets a good one here. Baker waiting on deck. No outs here. That's going to bring up Kaylee and Zolom in the hole. Back set for the 2-2 pitch again. Inside swung on and missed. So Taylor goes down on a strike for the second time tonight. And Mackenzie Baker, first baseman, she also was a victim of the strikeout in the second inning. So the first baseman, Mackenzie Baker now. Chance here with Azadulo at second. Can't catch up to that pitch. Pitch swung through, 0-2. So one down, has a duel on second. Sheree Stone after the left fielder Pinto couldn't field the ball, it was hit to her. And this one's popped up, Cruz under it, makes the catch for the second out. Kelly Anzalone steps in there now. So we're going to have a pinch hitter here. Looks like they're going to bring in Victoria Cano to hit for Anzalone. Victoria Cano steps in there for Anzalone. So. Cano, going to see if she can try to bring in Basildua or at least get her closer to scoring position. Hawks have been on a scoring drought since the one run they put up in the second inning, trailing this one by two, three to one here. So Cano doesn't have much stats. She is 0 for 2 with one strikeout here. The stats out. She gets her first swing. That's going to drive in a run for her first hit. So Cano is on with a single to the gap, and that's going to drive in Bazadua. And the Hawks are now down by one here, two to three to two. After the pinch hit single by Cano, that's going to bring up the top of the lineup now, Bailey Headington. Eddington comes in her now. She's 0 for 2 for the game. She has a strikeout looking in the first and popped out to left field in the third inning. Trying to keep this two out rally alive for the Hawks. Down by one now, 3 to 2 here, bottom of the fifth inning. Pitch is fouled back. Hey, 
So he finally gets the pitch her coach likes. 0-1 pitch. Inside popped up. It's going to be a tough one coming in, isn't it? Pinto under it and makes the catch. So one run for the Hawks here at the bottom of the fifth. Head into the lead, down 3-2. to two. We head to the top of the sixth. You're watching Hawks softball on Vibe Live. Uh, we head to the top of the six now. Leah Cruz stepping back in there after the double cut, stealing in at the threat in the top of the fifth. The Cruz gets a fresh slate, but no runners in scoring position. Her first pitch is swinging. That's going to be a tough one down the left field line, and that's going to fall in for a hit. She's going to look for two, but days at first. It's kind of a no man's land there and falls between heading 10 and more for a single. Cruz's second single of the game here in the sixth inning. It's going to bring up the pitcher, Jace e. Lee. 0 for 2, two pop outs. Should be followed by Jace, Joycelyn Pinto, the left fielder. Takes her time at the plate, takes her time on the hill. And the first pitch is down low, ball one. Gets away from b Grant, but she's able to pick it back up. <coughs> Ramsey ready. 1-0 pitch, comes inside, quick throw over to first base. It's away from first baseman, but nobody's moving, so no harm, no foul. Counts now 2-0 to Lee. with the 2-0. Down the pipe for strike one. Trying to find her spot here. Pinto due up for the Royals, followed by Kaylee Valencia, the second baseman. Comes out with the 2-1. That's going to be down low and in. Quick snap throw over the first base. Not in time. Cruz back in there. Uh, 
call time for a conference. Not kind of sure what they're talking about. Official umpire review is called safe at first. <laughs> JC Lee back in there, heading the count three and one. Cruise runner at first base, no outs here, top six, grounded over to Bob Stewart, looks over for two, and hits it over to first for the second out. 4-6-3 double play for the Lady Hawks here. So base is clear, two down now. As Joycelyn Pinto, the left fielder, steps in. Led to the second run for Birdville in the last inning after the mishap on the pop fly. As he drives out one to third base, but Burris makes a nice snag, and that's going to do it for the Royals in the sixth inning. We head to the bottom of the sixth. You're watching Hawks Sapa on Vipe Live. So we head to the bottom of the six. And the wrong card up, Alex Baca leading off here for the Hawks, followed by Burris and Ramsey. Burris had a nice snag there in the sixth inning. That pitch misses high for ball one. Stay where you're at. Here we go, Baca. Baca singled in the second, or excuse me, singled in the first. Got out in the third, two for one tonight. Trying to reach on here so the Hawks can climb back into this one. Down three, two. Playing with their last six outs here, and I have one. Fouled back. Spock so back in there now. Even in the count. He's ready for the 1-1. One -one. That's fouled straight back over my head. Now one and two to Baca. Uh, 
We're all set now. One and two to count to Baca. And a little off-speed changeup pitch. Nice pitch there by Lee for her sixth one. Seventh. Get my math right here. Eighth strike out of the game. So one down now. Paris, the third baseman in there. 0 for 2. Seeing if she can get a little rally going here. Drives that one deep to left field. Back goes Pinto, tracking it down. Can't come up with it again. And Paris will be in there, safe at second. Just one that goes off the glove again. Pinto having some struggles out there in left field. That's going to bring up Maddie Ramsey. Has a chance here to help herself out again. Three and two are three to two. Our score. I'm trying to call a count there. So Maddie Ramsey comes in. Over two. One strikeout. Burris at third. Should be the tying run here. For the Hawks. Hawks showing life that they could be figuring out. Lee here in the bottom of the sixth. One down. Ramsey heading the count 1 0. Here's the 1 0 pitch. That's going to go outside. First, taking big Lee's out there at second, trying to draw a throw or an errant. Pick off attempt. See if she can get it even closer here. Lee set 2 0 inside, but fouled off. Just kind of rose up and caught the bat of Ramsey. Comes set to one inside, swung to the first base side, but foul. We got burst over to the third base. So she'll step back in there and do it again. Burst, even in the count, two and two. Pitch high. Took something off of that. Maddie, uh, Burris wasn't biting. So she runs the count full. Emma B. Crap is on deck for the Lady Hawks. She's trying to tie this one up here at three. Had a brief lead in the bottom of the second. And the full count pitch is swung on and missed for strike three. So Ramsey goes down on strikes. As B Craft steps in there. She's one for two tonight. Had a single in the second inning. Came around to score the first run of the game for the Hawks. So a chance here for B Craft to tie this game up or extend the rally here for the Hawks. Lee's pitch is outside, misses. Burris at second, she reached on after the fielding error by Pinto. Tracked it down, deep drive, but just couldn't come over the ball. B Crowd trying to make her pay, swung, fouled straight back, just got under that one. One-one count here to B. Craft. She can get on. That'll bring up Basel Dua. Come on. 
Pops that one up. Oh! Valencia under it and makes the catch for the third out here in the bottom of the six. So no runs, one hit. We head to the top of the seventh. 3-2 our score. You're watching Hawks softball on Flow Sports Life Live. Kali Valencia steps in there, one for two, singled in the fourth and popped out to left field in the second. Royals ahead of this one, 3-2, trying to stretch out their lead. Burbs had a couple of opportunities here in the last couple of innings as Ramsey's first pitch misses for ball one. They could use a three up, three down type of inning here. Get the bats back up there, and that pitch misses inside. Ramsey gets the pitch he likes. Comes up with the 2-0 pitch inside again. That one's going to be called a strike on the inside corner. Two one pitch to Valencia. And the ball catches the corner again. The strike two. Valencia, Self, and Hill do up for the Royals in the bottom of the top of the seventh inning. Swung on, miss, strike three, throw down the first, gets her at first. So Ramsey with her first strikeout. And one down here, top seventh. Manly Self, the right fielder for the Royals. Better known as Maylee Self. Self 0 for 2. Two ground outs in the fourth and the fifth inning. Actually, third in the fourth inning. Trying to get her first hit of the night. A little chop swing down to Burris over to Baker. And that'll be the second out. So the challenge here will be Alyssa Hill. Three for three, three singles, two runs scored. Only time they got Hill out was a caught stealing in the first inning. So 
It has been proven a challenging out here for the Hawks tonight. She comes up with two down. Her team up by one. Ramsey looking for a three up, three down variety inning so she can get her bats back up there and try to get back and tie this game up or take the lead as Hill takes strike one. Pitch misses on the outside, ball one. Hill does a tough out overall. She does get on base, if not half the time here. One, one pitch. That one's gonna cast the corner for strike two. Ramsey has an account now, one and two. Like for that third strike here. This is the pitch she likes, the one two pitch. And that's Chip fouled back. So the count stays one and two. To Hill, she can get on. That'll bring up Reese Davis, the shortstop for the Royals. One two pitch, ground back to the pitcher. Over to Baker at first, and that's going to do it for the third inning. Three up, three down, and the Hawks coming up to their last three outs to tie this game up. We head to the bottom of the seventh. Our score, 3-2 in favor of the Royals. You're watching Lady Hawk Softball on Vibe Live. Azadu is going to lead it off for the Hawks here. Looking down at their last three outs. Trying to tie it up. And possibly walk away with the win here tonight. Down by one, three, two. Bottom of the seventh. It's going to be Azadu, Taylor, and Baker for the Hawks. Azadu reached on, uh, on base. Got the second after the error by Pinto scored the second run in the fifth inning. And she also reached on another error in the second inning. So finding ways to get on base here. Any way they come. 1-0 pitch, swung foul back. Count evens at one. Morgan. 
JC trying to keep that from happening. She has nine strikeouts in the game. That one's inside. Just misses. Half the crowd agrees, half the crowd doesn't. Count walks up to two to one. Starting to chill off here tonight. 2-1 pitch. Tips it, fouls it straight back. Counts even now at two. So 2-2 two -two pitch, so expect up to an all speed here. Rising fastball gets her swinging for the first out of the seventh inning. Strikeout number 10 for Lee. It's going to bring up Sydney Taylor. He has two of those 10 strikeouts. Strikeout in the second and in the fifth. Taylor trying to get on base here. Be followed by McKenzie Baker. Lee's had success with that rising fastball. Pitches look so hittable, and the closer it gets, the higher it gets, the harder it gets to hit. Swung on for strike two. So Taylor in the ho-o in two. One down here in the bottom of the seventh. Nobody on base. And that one's fouled back, so Taylor stays alive in the count. Two pitch, swung on, fouled back, and it's going to meet the stands. So Taylor is staying alive. Down on the count, 0 oh, and 2. He's been doing a good job, especially, he's been doing a good job, especially when she's ahead on the count, kind of toying with the corners, and coming back with that rising fastball that just. It's like a big giant plate when it's coming to you. And just can't catch up to it. I know two pitch goes with the high fastball. Taylor pops it to Pintos. Have been struggling with the field lately. Makes the catch though. So that'll be the second out here for the Hawks. Down to their last out now, and the hitter of McKenzie Baker. So we're going to have a pinch hitter here. Looks like it's going to be Valerie Bridges is going to be stepping up for her. So Bridges steps in to hit for Baker, who was 0 for 2 on the night. Bridges will step in there. She's batting 125, has a single, triple, and three RBIs for the Lady Hawks. See if she gets some pinch hitting luck like Cano did in the fifth inning. Who pinched it, got a pinch hit single. Lays off that one. That's high for her ball one. Cano can, or excuse me, if Bridges can get on that, it's going to bring up Victoria Cano. Cano has the RBI single in the fifth inning. And that pitch lays off of it again. That one's going to be missing the zone high. 
tough pitch to lay off there. Bridges ahead of the count, 2-0. Set 2 0 pitch, shows a bunt, tips it, strike one on the call. Two and one on the count now. Hawks down by one, three, two here. Down to their last out here. Set to one pitch. That's going to cast the strike zone. So now down to their last strike, two and two. The count to Bridges. And if she can get on, that's going to bring up Victoria Cano. Board little with twos, two balls, two strikes, and two down here. Bottom of the seventh. Three two our score. A two two pitch swung on miss, and that's going to do it as the Richland Royals are going to come away victorious in this one, 3-2. to two. Been a hard-fought game by the Lady Hawks. Took a lead in the second. Led that one one nothing, And the Royals took the lead in his third inning and didn't look back from there. As they come away with a 3-2 victory, Jace Lee had 11 strikeouts on the night for the Royals. Hawks led by Beecraft single and scored a run and Balazua had a reach on base twice by error and scored a run. That's going to drop Burville down to 6-14 and 1 for the year and Richland will be 16-7 and 1. Thank everybody who was tagging along watching this one with us. You've been watching Lady Hawk Softball on Vibe Live. Thank you and have a good night.